Okay, hello beautiful souls of light, here I am. Um, my name is Elisa Mozal and I come to you with another video um, and I am an energy and vibrational healer. I am as well a spiritual mentor and here on this platform I share about the stuff that helped me so much on my own spiritual journey and I know whatever I'm sharing it's already helped so many people. From the very beginning I'm just going to let you know that through my open heart and my high vibration I am already sending through that video uh, high vibrations of love and light to you. You might see that vibration, you might see that energy following me when I move around, follow, flowing from you, flowing from my eyes, through my face, through my skin, through my entire body. And if you are at the stage of your journey where you are entirely open to receive higher vibrations of love and life, you can just relax take a few deep breaths and let yourself release, receive that energy, let yourself be basked in that higher vibration. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about opening your heart center because it is so important. Um, heart center versus mindset uh, based on just listening to our mind are actually two different stories and two different ways of living our lives. You know, we came into this existence to experience everything. We signed up for everything we went through, or at least majority of that stuff willingly. Although very often before we signed up for stuff, we probably didn't realize, oh shoot, that will be so painful. <laughs> oh, wowza, what did I put myself into? But at the end of the day, this is the place where we let ourselves to learn and grow so much through everything we are going through. And I've been recently finding myself talking to so many people about opening our hearts, how important that is, and what is the difference between heart set and maybe maybe mindset. So there is nothing wrong with our minds and using our minds until our mind uses us. Let me just explain what that means. That means that, uh, example, right? Guilty as charged as always. Um, for example, Elisa was entirely mind driven, which in my opinion means entirely ego driven when my mind was entirely filled with other people belief systems other people beliefs others uh, understanding of how things should be and how things shouldn't be right until the point that i'm for example cleaning the toilet and i cannot turn it off this obsessive way of thinking Right, So if I cannot turn it off, this obsessive way of thinking, or I am entirely even not aware that in the back of my head there is constant and she said this and they said that, how dare they? And 10 years ago I've done this horrible thing and it's all her fault and all that stuff. Whether I, whether I, I am aware of it or not, if this is happening in my mind, that mind is in charge of me. So the point that I'm cleaning that bathroom, I cannot be at peace because I cannot turn off this resentment, hatred, and you know, looking at the past or being so scared of the future. <gasps> What's gonna happen if another lockdown is gonna happen? <gasps> uh, you know, if, if I cannot turn this off, if I cannot control my thoughts, my feelings and my emotions, my mind is, is my God is in charge of me, right? It is my master. The heart set, when I am driven by my heart, looks totally different. I am able to be aware of these thoughts, feelings and emotions. I am able to entirely pick and choose for how long I am staying in that state of mind and what I am going to do with it, right? So if these thoughts come to me and they say, by the way, Jenny is such a bitch and she said this and that and 15 years ago, she said that and a month ago, I hear her, I swear I knew what she was talking about me behind my back. 
when that stuff comes in, right? Because I don't believe any one of us is immune to it, at least not majority of us. Uh, but when that comes in and I am able to be aware of it, I can straight away decide what am I going to do with it? Am I going to choose this voice and mistake it by, okay, this is me. This is me, you know, this way of thinking is actually, am I going to identify with it entirely? Or am I going to decide, na, 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 this is the echo of the past. This is the old way of thinking. This is a told form that I do not have to tap into. I can watch it come. I can see it. And I can let it go and flow through me entirely without being trapped and stuck anywhere within my body and my being. I can pick and choose to just change my energy physically by just literally stretching, jumping, dancing, going for a walk. Or I can just go for a cold shower or I can just sit in a meditation. I can just literally stop everything for 30 seconds take few deep breaths, connect with my heart, connect with my heart and remind myself who truly am I. I am not that all. I am so much more than that label or my past and I can let it go. And then when I am entirely at peace after 30 seconds or a minute, maybe sometimes five hours, depending on a day and what kind of state I am in, and I can get back into being heart driven. Again, some days it's easier, other days it is not. We're all human beings on our journey, learning everything. But this is the difference between being driven by your mind your past, your future, by the fear, by the lies, by the separation, by all the stuff that it makes us disempowered, right? Or we can entirely choose to start diving into our heart intelligence and connecting with that beautiful heart of ours. In another video, I will be talking about the practical moves, practical actions, that you can actually do about it. If you're enjoying that heart series, and um, please let me know in the comment section so what are the things you're enjoying the most, what are the stuff that you are benefiting from, and please share that on your platforms. We just don't know how many people right now is entirely disconnected from their hearts, struggling mentally. I hear more and more people struggling with suicidal thoughts, something that I'm going to talk about very soon as well, uh, based on my own experience and overcoming that. So please share that on your platforms. You just don't know which one of your Facebook friends might be in need right now to see this video. Thank you for being fabulous and amazing. And if you feel heart driven to connect with me and book a healing session, please look into elisamozal.com. It will give you all the information and we will see if we are a match to do it and connect um, in that special way on one-to-one. -one. Um, that's it. I think that's it. I'm going to wish you all absolutely all the best. Thank you for being fabulous. Stay awesome. And I will talk to you soon in my next video. Mm.